Hey everybody, this is Stuart and Haley with One on the Dime and today we're reviewing a rosé for an upcoming Pink Society chat. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, so like I said, I'm Stuart and Haley with Wine on the Dime and today we're reviewing the 2018 Rosé of Syrah from Pesh Mail. <laughs> She's arguing with me on the pronunciation. She's no. probably right. Let's be honest here. She actually can speak language and I can't. Uh, no, I can't. But even they say, according to their back, hard to say, easy to drink. Pesh Mail. Not. Pesh but with an mail. accent. Mail? So, it is a French derivative, pêche, peach, pêche, not fish like he thought it was. I didn't say fish, I said pêche. And it is M-E-R-L-E, -E, which in French, you don't say the R. I didn't, I said male. Not male, pêche mel. That rose <laughs> head. Let's take a look at this. First of all, screw top. Plus one. Yeah, it's going over your head, so. I know, okay. plus one. Oh yeah, my wife's favorite wine accessory. So hold, totally is. I'll hold this up real fast. So so, this is her hanging Chad. That's right. She's channeling <laughs> full on Florida right here. Speedo guy. So this this was a stocking stuffer. There are six of these little dudes, and yes, my favorite is the hanging Chad. And if you're not old enough to understand that reference, you should not be drinking wine. <laughs> Who's your second favorite? Mitch, but that's a really long story about childhood girlfriends that we named Mitch. I don't even know what that means. I know. Let's not open that on this so channel. So many layers. So much therapy. Let's just get to the wine. Okay. All right, so from a color standpoint. Ooh, this is way more actual This is a lot rose. darker than the last yeah. rosé we did. Uh, I would say this is kind of orange. Probably about medium orange. There's some salmon in that though. You see a little bit of pink? Like, I'm not seeing tangerine. That's what I think of when I'm Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So if you're interested in knowing what orange is, take a look at the WSET video that I released where I go at the level two. I kind of talked about how you detect the different colorations. Um, I would say this is this is probably orange. This I don't see really any pink in this wine whatsoever. That's so interesting because all I want to do is put this on a bagel with schmear. Because it really does look that, like lots. That might actually be really good. And moist. Oh. All right, so Haley thinks it's salmon. I'm leaning more towards orange. I, I I just, I really don't see any pink in this wine. But you but know what? But I'm not a trained person, so I'm okay with that. But you, you also really like just drinking rosé. I do. So the next closest step is smelling it. So let's take a look at the nose. Hi, Chad. I, I love you too. There's not much of one. It's a it's a light nose. And the first thing I get is something you probably won't enjoy. Petroleum. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> there's a slight petroleum nose. Yeah, there's that. Dude. But a lot of raspberry too. Really? Oh yeah, a lot I of raspberry. I really just get Vaseline. Well, it is day night. So that's my thing is I'm just getting a lot of red fruit, like raspberry, cherry, just a giant red fruit ball. I'm, I'm not getting a lot of petroleum. I, I'm getting more of the petroleum. I'm really not getting a lot of any aromatics. I can tell I'm smelling wine. I can tell there's something there. I can't pick out the different notes. It's very Maybe a touch weak. of strawberry. Just a touch. It's kind of weak. Yeah. I mean, compared to the last one we did, it was like hit you over the head with that was smell. Yes. Um, this is just. I mean, it's not a bad smell, but it's not. It's not powerful. It's it's not as dominant yeah. as the other one. The other one was like, like you said, it just hits you over the head with it. It clubs you to death. Mm -hmm. Like here are my fruits, and that's what it does. It just smashes you. Um, so you went on to the taste. I'm gonna. I did because that's what I do. I drink the wine. Medium body. Really. Medium acid. Medium alcohol. Still working on the finish here. Intensity, probably medium plus intensity. Really? Nah, no, medium nah. intensity. It, it's just kind of like... It's medium. It's medium. And, yeah. that, and, and that's not a bad thing. That's no, really it, not. I'm, I'm Especially getting... with rosés, they're not designed to age for 20 years like a Barolo or a Barbaresco. Or Totes. Anything like that. <laughs> anyway. I mean, again, it's not bad. It's not 
it's not off-putting. I don't like petroleum, but I'm not getting any of that on the flavor. It's very mild, but it's not like, I just want to sit back and enjoy this. Like I, this is just a wine. I, I, I do get a little bit of petroleum on the, on the palate. I get more on the nose. You're right. It's much stronger on the nose than it is on the palate, but I do get a little bit on the palate. Mm, poquito. I'm liking the strawberry though. I do get the cherry, I do get the raspberry. All right, so let's go ahead and now that we've both had a chance to look at it and taste it, let's get to the blick. So from a balance standpoint, I think you're in balance. You're medium pretty much across the board and that's fine. We can just go from there. Uh, length, uh, I'm, I'm giving a medium minus on this. So no points there. It requires at least a medium to get half a point. Uh, intensity, I am getting some intensity on the primary fruit, but I'm really getting no Nothing after. Nothing after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's really nothing. Just like I get hit up front with some red fruit and it's gone. It doesn't really stick around too much. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna give no points for that. And in terms of complexity, I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna give you no points there too. Just because I, I kind of expected more. I really did. Like I. Why I, Why would you expect more? So uh, with rosés, I expect a. At least a couple fruit clusters. I expect some florality. I expect maybe some salinity, maybe some grass, maybe some light malolactic fermentation. Depending on how it's made versus Sanye versus carbonic maceration, there might be some different things that happen with that. That's fine. Okay. But I mean, there, there, there are different things that happen within the actual like winemaking process of the rose and how it's. Yes, you can rub your chat. It. There, there's things that can make it fancy. more complex, but I'm not getting it. Like some of the best rosés that I've ever had have a ton of fruit. They have a little bit of grassiness. They're a tiny bit salty. They have high acid. And they have a little bit of like a cheesy effect in the mid palate. And I know it sounds weird, but it yeah, really it works whenever you taste it. So That's like the best rosés. And I'm not getting that here. This is this is more of a simple rosé. I mean, and it's not bad. It's not bad. No, it's, it's not. It's very drinkable. So, I, yeah, on, on that note, I'm... Out of all of the rating um, points and stuff, you're about, I, I'm going to give you an okay. That's going to be my go review. Right here. That's pretty much where it's going to go. Right here. Okay. All right. So I'm giving okay. 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 I mean, it's not, okay. I, okay. I don't want to dump it down the sink. Oh no. No, it's not. I'm it's not going to go sinking. It's not bad Seeking it. Yeah. But. It doesn't pair with the drain. No, not at all. No, it, so I mean, this is this is a I mean, it's a, a, a drinkable rosé. We will enjoy it, but it's not one of those where I'm really kind of kind of like shout out to people when they're like, "Oh, what's a must-have rosé?" I'm gonna be like, "This." Yeah. Nah, this this isn't a rosé where if you have it, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, this is Stuart and Haley with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Pesh Mail? That's right. I see her staring at me. 2018 Rosé of Syrah. I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. Yep. Uh, you do you want to go watch Shit's Creek? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, she's super excited about <gasps> Shit's Creek. Let's go.